Hey friends, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters. I wanted to make a video today talking about my antique booth. It's a brand new antique booth. I've only had it about a month, so it's still a work in progress, but I wanted to talk about what sold during the first month. So I'm gonna show you pictures, if I can find them, of the items and just talk about them briefly. Real quick, a little bit about me, if you don't know, I have been a reseller for over 25 years. I started on eBay, Half.com, Craigslist, um, more recently been selling on Facebook Marketplace, of course Poshmark, Etsy, whatnot, you name it, I've probably tried selling on it. I also have a brick and mortar thrift store that I have had open for about a year and a half so that's also kind of new but a little bit more we've got that figured out a little bit <laughs> of course it's always a work in progress but we're we're getting there it's in a really small town but we're right on the highway so we get a lot of traffic the thrift store is two stories on the bottom level is household items and kitchen and decor and jewelry and all that kind of stuff upstairs we have more like clothing and media mostly, but other things as well, artwork and stuff like that on the walls. But upstairs is mainly clothing. I'm very particular about the clothing that I allow in the store. It has to be clean. It has to have no stains, rips, tears, not stretched out, etc. We also have an ongoing garage sale out of my storage building that I use for the thrift store. So that's been fun it's every weekend and i have hired a friend of mine to basically run it for me she set it all up it's been just great during the summer months i have this huge 20 foot by 20 foot tent and we start off the summer by doing the saint regis flea market which is the largest flea market in montana and it's three days and we do a tent full of vintage clothing it's so much fun and then after that we move the tent over to the store and we set it up in the parking area and we do vintage clothing and other items out of the tent all summer long people love it they come from all over to come and shop in my vintage clothing tent so it's a lot of fun i really enjoy that and then of course my most recent venture is the antique mall so now that you are caught up a little bit about me, let's go ahead and get right into what sold. Okay, so these are my tags from items I've sold. And so everybody just has their own tags and their initials on it, which mine is TRT. And then um, they always cut these tags off of items that they sell and put them in like a little folder for us. We don't get every single tag. Like a lot of mine have these little stickers on them and I know that they didn't take off all the little stickers off of everything and I don't expect them to um, because I have no idea what it is anyway so it doesn't really matter to me if they take off those stickers but it's nice to see some of the small items so so I have two items that sold for three dollars an item that sold for two dollars and, and two items that sold for six dollars I don't know what those are but we'll try to figure it out so I want to go through these tags and I'll talk about them a little bit and then I'll, sh I'll try to show a picture up in the corner if I can find one so this is a vintage handmade blanket, uh, like a afghan, like a knitted or crocheted afghan, sold for $15. A vintage belt buckle from 1981, sold for $15. And then there's another one that was a stagecoach belt buckle that sold for $15 from 1979. So some of the belt buckles have dates on the back, and so that's how I know what year they were made. Okay, so this one is for some vintage bookends. They were, I believe the set was the musical ones where they had like a music scroll, violin. These were 1997 art glass. Oh, so these were the little Bluebird of Happiness. There's actually two of them by different artists, but they were very similar, different sizes. And they both sold for $15 each. So one of them was 1997 and one of them was 1991. Here's a brass bell. Um, this brass bell was a little brass bell with kind of an oriental theme. I think it had like a little guy on it. My chickens are here. 
Um, here's a copper fish, which is like a little statue of a fish coming out of some rocks. It's like jumping out of the water. Uh, sold for $25. Um, this was just a stained glass with like a picture of a fairy. Twenty dollars. I'm gonna try to go kind of qu quick through these because there's a lot of them. This was vintage ship decor set of two. So these were just small little um, pictures. They were in like those plastic Homco type frames, and yeah, I'll show you a picture. Of them. They weren't very big. Probably about five inches, five or six inches square. Uh, let's see. This was a oh, this was an elephant. There's two of them. This one too. So Hamilton Collection elephants. There were two of them. They sold for twenty-five dollars each on those. Um, this was a little set of oh, they were pine cone. One of them was like a pine cone. One of them was an acorn. I think the other one was like a walnut or something. And there were um, three of them. Just little um, decorative figurines. And cute, $15. Uh, vintage dust brush. I think this had horse hair and was probably, somebody probably just wanted to use it for decor. It was pretty neat with a, it had like a wooden handle and then horse brush hair or horse hair bristle brush. <laughs> a vintage gin bottle, uh, was Spanish, $15. This was a jewelry cabinet. It was a, one of those oak cabinets that had like the swinging doors and all the drawers and stuff. It sat kind of tall. And I sold that for $65. This nine book set. Oh, this was the um, Little House on the Prairie nine book set in a box from 1971 for $40. That was a great sale. I'll find a picture of that. And um, this was a hymnal. So this was a 1966 Sacred Selections for the Church hymnal for $7. And another one from 1979 for $4. And then there were a couple Louis L'Amour books that sold. These are just paperback books. Um, $4 and $3 for those. Those always sell good in the booth around here. Uh, Tupperware four cup pitcher with lid eight dollars. I believe this one was a white pitcher. Another vintage Tupperware set of plates. These were those square plates that kind of stacked together nicely and they were pink. Set of six for fifteen dollars. A nine inch cast iron skillet for thirty dollars. This was a Griswold Eerie number six, and it was nine inches. Let's see, we have a set of five green glasses. Um, these were kind of a, they had like a clear foot and like a clear green glass. They were just small little um, like juice cups or something. Set of five for 15. They didn't have a, a maker's mark on them, so I'm not sure. They might've been Libby. This set was Libby. It was a set of four juice glasses and they had they were clear with like a green um, kind of a paisley design on them I believe. So that sold for $15. Um, vintage Tupperware measuring cup. I had a whole bunch of those white measuring cups with the red um, lettering. You know what I'm talking about? The old ones. So the one of those sold for $4. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, it's Christmas time, so I have some Christmas stuff in there. Uh, we have one Christmas cow quilt. So this is one of those quilts that's made to hang on the wall. It wasn't very big. I would say it was like three feet long by two feet wide, maybe. And it was like a cow scene with a farm or something. So that sold for $7. <laughs> so this was the narrated nativity scene. This was so cool. It was very old, probably from like the 70s. It was plastic nativity scene, and it told you the sto the Christmas story in about probably two to three minutes. It was pretty neat. So I'm glad somebody picked that up and will enjoy that because it was really fun. And then a light up snowman couple for $12, which was just a um, little 
rubber snowman, I believe. It's like battery operated with a little light in it. Just a little Christmas decor. Ah, it's cold. Christmas sweater shirt, sweatshirt. Oh, okay. So this was one of those sweatshirts that has like the um, printed front and it was just like a regular sweatshirt. Might have had like a, an extra sewn in collar. Go away. It's chickens. Um, I call them grandma sweatshirts because it's what my grandma always wore like in the 90s. And so it was one of those and I think it had like a, a farm cabin scene or something on it, like a Christmas scene painted on it. And then another one, sweater. So this was a sweatshirt, this one was a sweater. So I think this was like a knit sweater with like some ornaments knitted into the pattern or something. Six bucks for that. And then the Miaoi Christmas sweater, which was a pink fuzzy sweater that had those sequins on it. It had a little picture of a cat with like a Santa hat. And if you flipped it over, it had like a cat with something else. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny. And it said Miaoi, Miaoi Christmas or something. And then a faux fur vest. I'm not sure if I have a picture of this one, but I'll look. That was something that I picked up at the thrift store and put in there. So I don't know if I have a picture of that or not. And then a Southwest pattern jacket. And this was kind of a, a blazer almost, the Southwest pattern. Really cool, this kind of stuff sells well here. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Making all kinds of noise. You're not supposed to be on the porch. Get out of here. Go on, get. Go on. Okay, so that was about 40 sales from the last couple weeks in my booth. It was my first couple weeks, so I didn't have a whole lot of stuff in there. I was still getting organized, still getting set up. But if you enjoy and benefit from this type of video, please let me know in the comments and um, hit the like button so I know to make more of this type of video. I will get better at my video skills in the future too because I know it was pretty shaky. But um, I wasn't really thinking about making a video like this when I made the videos. I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So anyways, this is what I came up with. If you like it, let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy reselling.